Hi there. Thank you for purchasing your Loop Electricity Starter Kit. Um, you will have received this in either this box packaging or in this blister pack as shown here. Uh, instructions for installation are shown on the back of the box or on the back of the blister pack. First step is to unpackage your Loop Electricity Starter Kit and let's see what we've got. You just pull the blister pack apart like so and inside you have three items. The first one is the loop electricity transmitter, which measures your energy consumption. The loop receiver, which communicates the data back to the server so you can see your information on the mobile app. And a flat plug that will power the loop receiver. To install your Loop Starter Kit using your computer, tablet or smartphone, open up your web browser and go to www.your-loop.com. Then click on Get Started, which will take you into the registration process and show you what's in the box. By clicking Next, when you get onto the registration page, you'll see that it says, please do not install the loop equipment until the registration wizard tells you to do so. The process will take you through a step-by-step -step guide and we will show you when to install each particular device. You move on to the next part of the process where you have to put in your authorization code. The authorization code will be found on the back of the loop starter kit with a sticky label on the bottom right hand corner. If your electricity starter kit arrives in this packaging, you will find the authorization code on the back of the box in the bottom right hand corner. The authorization code is case sensitive, so you just have to copy this across into the boxes as shown on the screen. Before clicking next, you have the opportunity to click here to view the terms and conditions of use of the site and then click the checkbox assuming you're happy and then proceed to press next. It's very simple and safe to install your Loop Electricity Starter Kit. Before installing, just check your meter cabinet to check that your meter cables are not damaged, that if it's installed outside that the meter cupboard door can be kept shut and that you don't need to use any excessive force on the meter cables. The next stage of the process is to install the loop receiver. That's the blue box that we have here. Three things to note on this, that the receiver serial number is located on the side just below the sticker with the barcode. This cable here has an ethernet jack that will connect into the back of your broadband router and I will show you that later. And this cable is your power supply cable which has a USB jack at the end which will plug in to the power supply plug. The receiver serial number starts D4F027 and then you have to put the unique digits thereafter into the box. So in this case 80087EFD and then click next. To assemble the power plug for the loop receiver, you simply raise this leg until you hear the click and then lift the red earth pin all the way up until you hear the click. You then have a three pin standard plug to fit in any socket. So now we've assembled the power plug, we're ready to click next so that we can connect the loop receiver to the power supply. Don't worry if you get timed out and the screenshot changes. 
This shows that the connection has failed. Once you have connected the receiver to the power supply, you can try again by clicking this button. You will notice on this part of the registration process that the next button is greyed out. This will stay greyed out until the receiver is successfully connected to the power supply and has connected to the loop server. This button will then go orange. To connect your loop receiver to your broadband router, you simply take the Ethernet jack and plug it in to a spare Ethernet socket. If you don't have a spare Ethernet socket because you have a lead coming out of uh, your router for your computer requirements, then you can simply unclip the existing lead, clip in the loop receiver and connect your lead into the through port provided on your loop receiver. If you don't have a spare power socket close to your router, then if your router has a USB socket, the uh, loop receiver USB jack can connect directly into it and power the receiver. This uh, router doesn't have that, and so therefore we're going to use the mains power and the power plug. Now that the power plug is assembled, you can insert it into a spare plug socket um, quite easily. I mean, some of the sockets can be hard to access, so it is important to um, align the plug square on to the socket and insert it as so. You will then see the green LED light come on to show that it is powered up correctly. You take the USB jack from the loop receiver and simply plug it in to the socket and the LED will shine red to show that it is providing power to your loop receiver. Having powered up the loop receiver, you'll see little LEDs flashing, which shows that it's working correctly. And if it's possible, it should be left in the vertical orientation, either upwards or downwards. So for this installation, I'm just going to turn the router around and let that sit behind like that in the vertical plane. Having connected the loop receiver to the broadband router and powered it up, we can now click Try Again and the system is showing that it's connecting. And success! The loop receiver has been successfully installed and we can now click the Next button. To assemble the power plug for the loop receiver, you simply raise this leg until you hear the click, and then lift the red earth pin all the way up until you hear the click. You then have a three pin standard plug to fit in any socket. So now it's time to install the loop transmitter. Um, this is a grey and purple device which has a button on the side to open up the head so that you can connect it to a meter cable which I will show you uh, very shortly. Uh, then on the side you'll find a barcode sticker with a number which is the transmitter serial number which will start 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000. The next step is to put the transmitter serial number into the screenshot. So on this one, the number is 00092411. And then we can press next. As your loop transmitter is a brand new unit, we need to reset it and power it up for the first time. To do this, you turn the unit over and you'll see a depressed little spot with a hole in it. This is a button that can be pressed with the use of a pen and you just 
push the pen into that and push down and you'll feel a slight click. On pressing it, you will see the red light flash. So having pressed the reset button, you wake the device up for five minutes. If it takes you longer than five minutes to install, don't worry, just press the button with a pen a second time to wake it up again. Having done this, you can now press next to move on to the next stage. Okay, so we've moved outside and this is a typical outside electricity installation with a proper door on the front opening up to show the electricity meter and associated cables. A quick safety check to show that all the cables are in good condition and nothing's loose, so this is good to go and ready to install. This is a one-rate electricity meter with four cables coming from uh, the meter. In this installation, you connect the loop transmitter to the furthest right cable, which is the live cable into the home. Some properties will have a two-rate meter, for example, Economy 7, and they'll have five cables coming from the meter base. And in that scenario, you install the loop transmitter to the middle cable. To install electricity loop, you press the button on the side, open the transmitter head, and clip it around the cable and close it until it clicks. Once installed, it's best if the loop transmitter can sit free of any other item, not touching anything else, to ensure the best radio transmission. And that's the transmitter installed. Having connected the loop electricity transmitter outside at the meter point, um, we are now ready to click the next button for it to make a connection between the transmitter and the receiver. The system is now looking to make that connection and it has confirmed that the connection has been successful. And we have a nice, friendly, happy face to confirm that. So now your loop is installed correctly and we can click next. In order to use loop, you must complete the registration process, which is very simple. Please note that anything with an asterisk must be completed. So I'll just complete this information. When entering your password, remember it is case sensitive and may contain any combination of letters, numbers or punctuation, but please don't include spaces. Loop will send you messages such as home energy reports and information when you're using more energy than you normally do. To get these messages, you need to put in your email address. As part of the registration process, Loop asks a few questions about your energy consumption. So here we do use gas, so we'll click yes. And yes, we have a dual fuel tariff. The next question is how much electricity do you use? So by taking a recent bill, we can see here that the electricity consumption for the month was 58 pounds. So we'll just put in here 58 pounds. And in this property, we do not have economy seven. Then we need to look at how much gas. And in this month, we've used 33 pounds. And that's all the information. So we can click finish. In order for Loop to be as accurate as possible, it is important to set your tariff so that we know how much energy is costing you. The first screen you will see in the Loop system is set my tariff now. So we'd highly recommend it's a good time to do that. So you go on the green button and press. The system will set a default tariff for you. In this case, it's an Eon energy plan. But in fact, we're not with Eon. So, we need to answer a few questions to set the tariff. Do we use gas? 
yes. We filled in this information, so we do not need to update that. And we need to select our supplier. Now our supplier is First Utility, so it's not one of the big six. So we click on More Suppliers, and we have a complete list. So looking down the list, I can find First Utility here. And I will click that. And then further down, we will look at how we pay our bills. Well, we pay by monthly direct debit. We don't have Economy 7, so we can now press the drop-down menu and we can find the tariff, which is I say fixed to March 2016. We can click that to complete the process. Now, if you don't know what tariff you're on, you normally can find out from your energy bill or just phone your supplier and they'll let you know. We then click Finish to complete the process. The plan will be confirmed so that you can see Loop has stored the correct plan for you. You have now completed the process of installing and registering your Loop Electricity Starter Kit. And you're in the loop. To start using the system, just click on Summary and take a look around to see all the information you can get from Loop.